Hi, buddy. This is home to the man back in the video. Today, today I just kind of want to talk to you guys about my Panasonic UB9000 P1K. I didn't know this about the P1K, and I'll explain this to you guys in my video. I, when watching 4K movies, I've noticed that my HDR optimizer on this Panasonic UB9000 P1K it tracks the picture quality so damn well on my TV that it makes the picture look so much better on this TV. Um, and I looked, and I talked to people in Facebook groups. I looked, some people in Facebook group, just like four people, the face, one of the Facebook groups that said that the uh, Panasonic UB9000 P1K has a different has a different optimizer chipset than the than the one that's in the A20. I've been looking up on Google, and people are like, the, the UB9000 P1K has a totally different chipset than the one on the UB9 and the UB820. So therefore, you're gonna get a much better picture quality with this optimizer on the UB9000. Playing the one I'm playing on the Panasonic UB9000 P1K. The optimizer, the HDR optimizer, it is like it works perfect, and it is. I read online as well, I did some research. Apparently, that HDR optimizer is like top notch for this Blu-ray player. It's like it's like the best of the best you can get for a Blu-ray player like this. Um, guys, just want to talk to you guys about that. I just learned this, found found this out by doing a little research and dig, talking to people in groups. Some people, however, on some a lot of people on some a lot of these groups are gonna say that the Panasonic UB9000 A20 has the same chipset, and they don't. Some chipsets, yes, it may have the same chips. It may have the same process processor, but they have a different HDR optimized chipset. Each each like some chipsets on the UB9000 P1K may be different. On that Blu-ray player, the Nate 20. It's like basically on this UB9000, you can get a much better chipset with the UB9000 than you would with the A20. That's how I realized um, with with this um, Blu-ray player. Cause like when I'm watching movies, like scenes actually look like scenes it makes the scenes look dark at times. It needs to be, and also if they should optimize the button scenes when it needs to be and highlight makes highlights better. It needs to be as well, guys. Um So I mean just want to talk to you guys about that. Again, the HDR optimizer on this thing is like top notch and it is freaking awesome. I've noticed a definite difference in push quality when the HDR optimizer is turned on. I noticed a huge difference when it's turned on I'm watching 4K movies or any type of movie. Especially well 4K movies in general. And I've noticed the most. Uh, I just want to talk to you guys about that. Again, please do like, subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment down below what your thoughts are. Let me know you guys watching this. Again, home to the man. Over and out. Take care, guys.